tell me that my rap ain't fire. Cause it fire and it's on time. So check out your mind. Check out your mind. Check out your mind. Check out your mind. Yeah. I ain't lying. Hey. I'm Say it, brother. Say it. Well, you tell this man you dolomite, man. I bet in five dollars you dolomite. Yes, brother, I'm dolomite. Prove it. Prove it. I'm gonna let him know that dolomite is my name and fucking up motherfuckers is my game. <laughs> And we are privileged to be here on the Media Funhouse with Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite himself. He's here at the Chiller Theater Convention. We just want to ask you a few film, a few questions about your current activities, and just maybe one or two questions about the old films because everybody's fascinated by them now. Uh, I guess we should get first to your upcoming activities. Are you going to be performing in our area or on the West Coast? I'm going to the West Coast to finish doing my. Uh album called Dolomite in the Mix for 1996 which features uh, one of my great tunes called Scratch My Back which is quite apropos for every man he wants to come home in the evening and get his back scratch so uh, we coming out with that tune and it's a great one then I have another one called In the Mix for 96 another one called The ABC's so in other words, we look for it to be a great album for 96. Yeah, that's great. And could we ask you a few questions about your films that have now become all four of them? I believe there were four altogether of the starring vehicles and then Rude. So uh, could we ask you a few questions about that? Five of them all together, the action films and two concerts. Well, the concert is Rude and the other concert is my latest one called The Legend of Dolomite that features Ice-T, Arsenio Hall, along with Aunt Esther, and a lot of great artists in this particular video. So, and I have 35 minutes of stand-up on it. Can we show that on the air? We can actually yes, show uh, the boxes for the these. Box, uh, Rude. Legend this of Dolomite. Is yeah. Legend of Dolomite. And this is, this is Rude, right? This is Rude right here. The Legend of Dolomite here. Now, in this one, we have the late, great Easy e One of his last appearances is on this particular video. And this one features me in my presidential campaign, Dolomite for President in that period. But I'm doing a new video called Dolomite for President 1996. And you know, they have one man running called Dole. And I suggest that you do not use Dole, but use dole e might. Can you dig? And then you'll be voting right. That's terrific. So I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, do not make that mistake again. I'm telling you on your next presidential election, vote for a righteous candidate. Vote for Dolomite to be your president. I will not promise you a goddamn thing. Because that's just what you will get. Nothing if I win. But I promise you, I will have a constitution that will legalize prostitution. You can bet your sweet ass I will legalize glass. Hang on. Now, a lot of people want to know and want to ask me a lot of questions about how I will do on my presidential format. Now, I'll tell you, brothers, right now, before I go any further, if I get in the White House and we take over, brothers and sisters, we are not going to kill all the whites. <laughs> we'll need workers. <laughs> we'll need somebody to harvest the millions and clean the children. The average motherfucker would have long, long been dead. <laughs> now the warden called Dolomite. said, Dolomite, I'm going to tell you what we going to do. We going to give you a dollar and a half and a damn good meal. If you promise to leave us alone and get your bad ass out of and can we ask you about the films themselves, because we watch Legend of Dolomite, we recommend you all get it out there. It's fascinating to from Zen on Home Video. But we wanted to ask about the actual production of the films, because we know we have a lot of filmmakers out there, a lot of low-budget fans. Were there a lot of African Americans on the crews of the films? Were these indeed black filmmakers making the film? Because that would be like an interesting note in film history. I'm one of the few black filmmakers of that period, of the 1970s. I produced and, and, uh, and uh, 
paid from our own films. Also, Melvin Van Peeble was another man, and then the uh, family that put out Penitentiary Part 1 and Part 2. We were the black filmmakers who financed and struggled with our films, which mine was a struggle. This film here, Dolomite, let me show it on camera. Dolomite is the film that I made for a mere $90,000. A full length picture shot on 35 millimeter that takes a lot of setups, a lot of editing, but we done it on a low budget scale with people who work right with us. Special effects was done by us ourselves. That people may pay $1,000 for a special effect, I did one for $1.49. When I pulled the intestines from uh, DeVille Martin on the film Dolomite, we got some uh, intestines from the pig, which they call chitlins. We put it in a bag and put some Cairo red syrup in it, plastic, and planted his chest and pulled it out. That special effect from a big film company would run a lot of money, but we did it for a mere dollar and 49 cents. The human. It's all for you, it's on me. The human tornado, we wired the ceiling where the ceiling breaks down. You know, the ceiling breaks down in the film. This is the human tornado here, yes. Breaks down in the film, and uh, we had it tied up with uh, cat wire to the ceiling and had it wired up. And then we had all of the doors that was pulling back and forth, pictures falling on the wall with cat wire strang, and different one of our crew lying on the floor, pulling it, pulling this, and making this move, making the door slam and everything. That's a special effect that would cost many thousands of dollars. We done it for mere pennies. So this is what the young filmmaker today that has short money have to do. You got to figure out ways to make it work, you know, because you don't have the money to pay for the high price special effects. Whatever.